dear students uh, in the previous uh, video we were discussing about line balancing problem how to balance the automated production line and how to distribute the work into all the machine equally so uh, we were uh, solving a numerical problem on largest candidate rule it is a one of the method used in line balancing to balance the automated production line by distributing the work equally in a proper manner so we learnt about how to write the precedence diagram for the line balancing problem in this video uh, we will learn how to assign the work elements or how to assign the work assembly of a electrical appliance work equally into each and every machines used in the automated production line so here uh, we can see the table showing the assembly of electrical appliance already we have discussed about this and here we have 12 number of elements or the parts we have to assemble in the electrical appliance and what is the time required tek that is in minutes that is also given and which assembly we have to do first and which assembly we have to do next in a sequence that is also given in the table so here one of the important thing in the largest candidate rule is we have to list the time taken or the tk in minutes in the descending order okay this table shows the work element number here and tk what is the time taken to assemble the one part okay so that the element or the part number three and what is preceded by so that is given in this table we have to arrange in the descending order according to the tk or the time taken by each and every part we have to assemble uh, we have to arrange in the descending order first so the work element 3 is taking 0.7 minutes that is the largest time so we have to list first again 0.6 that is the next one 0 0.5 0 0.4 0 0.38 0 0.32 0 0.3 0 0.27 0 0.2 0 0.12 0 0.11 and 0 0.1 so like this we have to arrange in the descending order and the work elements numbers are listed in the table and what is preceded by so so this is what we call it as a largest candidate rule that means we have to arrange in the descending order large time should be first after that another time so like this we have to arrange in the table this is very important so next uh, before going to assign the work element into different number of machines okay in the problem it is not given how many machines we have to use we have to calculate and we have to find out what is the minimum number of machines required to do the assembly of the electrical appliance so here we have a small calculation before going to assemble the work elements into different machines we should know how many machines we have to choose okay and we have to calculate what is the cycle time okay so we have to calculate what is the cycle time we have to calculate what is the total work content okay so all this we have to calculate first then we can do the assigning of the work element into different machines so here cycle time tc that is okay here uh, one condition has to be satisfied while calculating the cycle time okay that is tc less than or equal to e by rp so where e is equal to efficiency of the production line efficiency of the automated production line and rp is the production rate okay already we know that what is rp and what is e so e is used to indicate the efficiency of the automated production line and rp is used to indicate the production rate so in the given problem we have to assume the efficiency of the production line is 100 percent because it is not given and rp that is already given in the problem that is 60 units per hour production rate rp is 60 units per hour so by using this data we can calculate what is tc tc is less than or equal okay or tc equal to 100 by 60 it will give 1.66 okay 1.66 minutes okay 1.66 minutes that is the value of cycle time but okay here what is the condition that we can observe tc less than or equal to e by rp okay here e by rp you are getting 1.66 okay it should be equal or less than so again another condition we have for the tc cycle time tc greater than or equal to 
maximum TSI. So TSI, what is TSI? So here the TSI is the processing time. Okay, if one work element is taking some time to process or to assemble the part, that is the processing time or the assembly time. So TSI is the processing time. So TC should be greater than or equal to maximum TSI. So what is the maximum TSI? Maximum TSI is the that we can observe the work element 3 is having okay 0.7 that is the maximum TSI maximum TSI or TEK okay so maximum time the work element 3 is taking that is okay the maximum TSI what is the condition this TC value should be more than the maximum TSI there we have 0.7 here we are getting 1.66 so it has to come in between that means we can take the TC as 1 minute Okay, when we take TC as one minute, what happens? It is more than maximum TSI, okay, and less than, okay, it will satisfy this equation also that is TC less than or equal to E by RP. So, these both conditions are satisfied. So, now we can take, okay, so therefore TC equal to one minute, okay, so this is very important. And now we have to calculate how many machines are required to do the assembly operation of the electrical appliance given in the problem. Okay, so for that uh, minimum n or minimum number of machines. Okay, here the n indicates the number of machines required in the assembly of the electrical appliance. Because okay, the n is the smallest integer that is greater than or equal to TWC divided by TC. So that means we know that already what is TWC? TWC is the total work content. Total work content means what is the total time required to do the whole assembly of the electrical appliance that is the total work content and tc already we know cycle time so here n should satisfy the minimum number of machines required that should satisfy this equation that is okay greater than or equal to twc divided by tc when we do twc divided by tc okay so here twc is the four minutes okay if you go to this table and if you calculate what is the time if you add all these times you will get four minutes that is the twc so four minutes that is four by one okay you will get once again number four okay so tc is the one minute and twc is four minutes so we'll get okay so four minutes uh, sorry four number of machines so minimum number of workstations required to do the assembly of electrical appliance okay is four minutes okay so now we'll move to the next uh, slide and we'll understand more about this Okay, so here uh, we can see the precedence diagram we have. Okay, precedence diagram we know already how to write this, and it will show what is the sequence in which we have to do the assembly of the electrical appliance. So now we have to assemble the work elements. Okay, totally we have 12 work elements, and those 12 work elements we have to assign into the number of machines. Okay, we calculated minimum number of machines that is four right okay and it may go beyond that also but minimum number of work machines required to do the assembly of this electrical appliance is four okay so here uh, we have five number of machines okay so in this table already the work elements are assigned and it is showing that we require five number of machines when we calculated it okay it was showing minimum number of machines required is four so here how to assign the work elements into different machines or the stations okay here stations means machines okay so we have to write the table like this and here uh, we have station and here we have work element and tk in minutes and station time what is the total time the machine each and every machine is taking here one condition should be satisfied that is whatever the time you are going to or whatever the work element you are going to assign that should be okay uh, that should satisfy the sequence whatever shown in the precedence diagram so whatever shown in the precedence diagram according to this sequence only we have to do the assembly and we have to assign the work elements into machines okay and the total work elements you are going to assign to the each and every machine okay that time total work element time should not exceed one minute okay should not exceed okay one minute should not exceed one minute that is very important so here i have written uh, 
point one this is wrong okay it should be one minute okay so it should be one minute because we calculated the cycle time that is one minute right okay so we calculated cycle time that is one minute so like this we are going to assign the work element okay here work element 2 is assigned and work element 5 is assigned work element 1 is assigned to station or the machine number 1 and again work element 4 is also assigned to machine number 1 so when you add all this time okay it should be one minute and whatever the work element you are going to assign here that should follow the sequence that should follow the sequence whatever we have written in the precedence diagram according to that precedence diagram only we have to assign the work elements into the machines and the total time taken by the every machine should not exceed one minute that is very important okay so it should not exceed one minute okay it should be within one minute or it should be equal to one minute so this is how we have to allocate the work elements into different different machines okay so in the next video we will understand how to assign the work element into each and every machines according to the precedence diagram using largest candidate rule you understood what is largest candidate rule means here which work element is having more processing time or the more time it will take to do the assembly so that work element should be assigned to the first machine okay so that's why we listed the work element time in the descending order okay descending order we listed and we will take the work element the which work element is having the more time that should be assigned to the first machine and it has to satisfy the sequence of assembly operation which is shown in the precedence diagram that is very important okay if it is satisfied all these conditions then we can assemble the work element into different machines according to the precedence diagram.